Hello and welcome to the next episode where we'll hopefully be getting ever so close to finishing our hoodie. So in the last episode we created the base of the body and as you can see here I've gone around and finished off my version uh, as best as I can really. So now we'll focus on connecting these up with the sleeves. So for the first thing I'm going to get my bridge tool and just connect these bits. So I'm going to split these in two and now I'm going to get my create pointers and create loops going round that will measure up to the arm and then we'll connect that back in and then we can connect these up and we can follow this curve along the body. And I'm just going to leave that, that there for now until I do the other half. Oops. And now I'm going to do a similar thing along the front. That's just some very quick crude points which I'm now going to go through and make to be a little better. Now I will carry on with making the loops again. I'm just going to continue like this. And as you can see, now the loops are getting, I guess, less loopy and connecting to the rest of the body. So we can finish that up. And we're going to connect up to here. So this is sort of the pattern that in the end we want to follow is connecting everything up to this point. So now I'm at a point here where I've got the loops going around the arms and I kind of need to know what the pattern's forming. So I'm just connecting all these body points together. I'd possibly bring these down a bit. And we'll put another loop in that will connect up to this point. And we're going to try and not touch the hood as much as we can, as that will be on its own separate. We're going to try and... well, we're just going to do that later, basically. So I can make a quad there. A quad there. And I'm not going to animate the hood or really give it much depth. So I can just make a very static version of the hood. So as you can see, I'm just going underneath the hood with these points. And then using that, I'll be able to just build on top. Okay, at this point, we'll make some more points. As you can see, now I've run into this issue where I have this point here. And we'll just see if there's any way I can just get rid of that or if it is needed. And it's looking like that line is very needed by the geometry. So we can add a quick loop in here. And then that loop will give us more room to move all this along. Again, there is quite a bit of detail in our hoodie here, but this is mainly for a main character. So at the moment, I can see I probably had about 1,520 triangles off the top of my head. So I have another 500 I can use, but I don't want to go silly with it as I do have the other half of this body to go. And then we need to add some stuff on the bottom and do the hood. So I'm just going to realign these vertices. There we go. And we also need to do the bottom here, which we'll do soon. So now we've got the chest sorted again. You can sort out these vertices. And we just got to repeat that for the other side. So I'm going to come in here and using symmetry, realign these points directly back to the middle. And then I can redo them on this side. So we'll have a loop going round like we did. 
And sort of like when we did the arms, we're going to try and keep this half of the body symmetrical as possible. Obviously not going to be completely possible as this side of the body did have slightly more curves like this two bulging out ones and this one had some smaller ones. So that also brings in its own challenges. However, for the most part, we should be able to get it looking similar. So as you can see from the other side, we went around once more. And this is when our loops started joining with the body a lot more. At this point, we had the points going across, just like we did on the other side. Now we have everything connecting much more. So it will make our topology easier to build and also easier to maintain. And we have an idea of how this final thing is going to look now. So as you can see, the slight geometry changes and the way the, the way we started the topology meant that this side is a little different to the other. Which again is fine. But just as long as they can be animated very similar and make it easier on also the textures behalf because remember we've got to unwrap this and the easier we make that on ourselves the better so as an example there you can see how this line is higher up than this line sort of in the middle here but it doesn't match this line because this line is this line so again it all depends on that geometry now we're going to quickly do the bottom. So the bottom is going to be very simple. We can just select this loop and then we select this bottom one which is extrude and we can move it downwards. Now we've got everything at the bottom. We can just pull these points down to the bottom and they will stop from going over the edge in most scenarios and we'll get right to the bottom of our reference mesh. And there's nothing too difficult about this. So we'll just keep going round. So I can show you the difference to parties. You can see this loop here is completely different to this loop here. It sort of enters this stage a lot earlier than this one does. So that's something we need to fix. Okay, so that's as close as we're able to get it evenly on both sides. As you can see, there is a bit of a change, but the change shouldn't matter all that much. As we won't really be deforming this part. So now I can close up this hole. And refix. So the important part here is we still have our loops and this is the best way we're able to actually keep those loops and that's really important because we don't want to have any weird random ones. So now I could re-put these in and as you can see the rest of the topology is actually quite clean and I can use all this extra geometry now if I space it out to get even more details. And now let's just view our mesh. And I'd say that's looking pretty well, pretty high def. And if we bake some textures and that into it, it'd look very good. So in the next video, we'll finish this off by creating the hood. We're just going to do that very simply, doing the outside, not the inside, as we won't be able to see them from our character. And then we'll go into baking the textures and texturing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If your opinions are otherwise, so if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave it in the comments down below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys.